Welcome to this week's Two Minute Tuesday. As we're on the subject of change, there's another key change which you need to be aware of if you're in the business of planning and designing buildings. From the 1st of August 2020, it has been necessary to submit fire statements with planning applications in certain circumstances. This is due to an amendment of the Town and Country Planning Development Management Procedure, England Order 2015. In response to the tragedy at Grenfell Tower just over four years ago, a review titled The Independent Review of Building Regulations and Fire Safety was led by Dame Judith Hackett. The government agreed to implement all the recommendations that came out of the review, one of which was the requirement for Gateway 1. Gateway 1 was born of observation by Hackett that some minimum requirements around fire safety will need to be addressed when local planning authorities are determining planning applications and will require input from those with the relevant expertise. It has two main elements. The first requires the developer to submit a fire statement setting out the fire safety considerations specific to the development with a relevant application for planning permission for development, which includes one or more relevant buildings. The second serves to establish the health and safety executive as a statutory consultee for relevant planning applications. The goal is to ensure that certain key aspects of fire safety are considered at initial land use planning, including water supplies for firefighting, access for firefighting appliances and site layout. The information included in the fire statement will mean that those points are properly considered. You may have heard the term relevant building or relevant application mentioned during this video and wondered who this new Gateway One actually applies to. It applies to multi-occupancy buildings of 18 metres or more in height and or of seven or more storeys, whichever is reached first. Note that this will prevent developers from attempting to circumvent legislation by building buildings that fall fractionally outside of the 18 metre threshold. There are comprehensive details on the government website on how to measure the building for this purpose. I've linked the page below. If a building you're planning falls inside the scope of this requirement, you can download the fire statement form from the government website. I've also linked this below. There are two further gateways that will also be implemented in the not too distant future. Gateway 2 takes place at the technical design and construction phase and provides a hard stop point with the addition of the Building Safety Regulator, or BSR, as the approving authority for relevant buildings. It will be necessary to submit a building control application and construction will not be permitted to begin until the BSR has approved the application. Gateway 3 relates to the current building control completion, or final certificate stage of a development. It will also provide a hard stop point where the BSR completes final inspections and then issues a completion certificate. Prescribed documents and information will also be required on the as-built building and must be handed over to the person or persons responsible for the building in use. This has also been termed the golden thread. I'll make sure to keep you posted as and when we hear more about the upcoming gateways. But for the meantime, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. If you want to be kept up to date with important changes like these, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, I'll see you next week. Bye for now.